Rotobrush 3 is out in beta. Stop! We have to test it first. So I'm in After Effects right now with some footage from a recent video. Let's add Rotobrush. Let's make sure we've got this perfect. So it looks like Rotobrush 3 is the default here in the beta, but we're going to set it to Rotobrush 2 to start with. And to give it a fighting chance, we're going to set the quality to best. Let's see how quick it propagates through. Go. Okay, it seems to have held pretty well to start with. Ooh, it definitely broke apart there on the hand. And it seems to have held after the hand came up, actually. That's, that's not terrible. Stop. 43 seconds. Let's see that on a black background. It seems like it's done a pretty good job, but it's really just when the fast movement comes along and the hands block the frame. I think that is exactly what I expected from Rotobrush 2, to be fair. Based on that, we're not burning any green screens just yet. Okay, let's try Rotobrush 3. Are we ready? Go. I think that's held better to start with, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, that was impressive. <laughs> Did you see that? Stop. 30 seconds. Rotobrush 3 here has given us about 25% extra speed when it's propagating through. And there, look. It's just, ah, okay. So we lost the fingers on one frame. <laughs> okay. So cleanup is a stroke at best. And then when the hand comes down, it's a little bit weird as well. But overall, this is a four second shot with three frames of cleanup. Amazing. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Let's just quickly test Rotor Brush 1, the classic. I want to see how far we've come. Uh, we've still got our exact same starting frames as everything else. We're going to time classic as well. Go. Um, we might be here for a while, already 20 seconds in, and it hasn't done a single thing right yet. <laughs> 30 seconds, so Rotor Brush 3 is done by this point. Dear me. And Rotor Brush 2 is done by this point. And unfortunately, I didn't get the results from Classic because the whole thing crashed. Maybe it got bored. So should you burn your green screen? No, probably not. Green screen serves a per- Rotobrush is making mincemeat of tricky footage, actually. This is really exciting for people who work in small spaces like this, because green spill and even lighting are a constant challenge. If you want to know more about rotoscoping, I recommend you check out this video next, because it'll show you how I got the perfect roto using Runway ML and After Effects. And I'd like to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for making videos like this possible. I'll see you all on the next one.